we got married late and we really wanted kids. But kids didn't come. <laughs> We thought that it would be very easy to conceive, uh, so we were very easy going about it. We married and six years, we did not have any babies. We went to the public uh, celebration, like a church function, marriage function. People are talking about us, asking us why you don't have a baby. Acquaintances will assume that we had a child and go, oh, how old is your child? So we have very depressed and embarrassed in front of the people. Year after year, 2017, 2018, 2019, um, we started wondering, you know, uh, mm -hmm. if it was really in God's plan for us to have a child. It started getting a little bit uh, stressful and pressurizing. Uh, we tried all sorts of methods. We went to TCM, we did acupuncture. So many hospitals and seeking others' advice but after doing all the IUA, IUA and IVF, everything wasted, we end up with struggles and also sadness. We came to know Dr. Douglas Ong who most Catholics will go. He said something very providential and very coincidental as well. He said, pray. Mm. During that time, I prayed to Jesus and I, I say like, you know, Lord, if I get pregnant, I will know that this baby comes from you. We prayed to God and we came through our family member, one of our family member, Uncle Lawrence Durang. He gave us a St. Gerard Magella prayer book to us. And every Saturday he come to Novena Church and he prayed for us specially. This is the Novena to St. Gerard. We actually have one of the prayer cards also and it's all the way from India. We started praying quite early in the marriage. We started to pray to Blessed Sacrament and also gave a Gerard Majala's intercession. Every morning, wake up at 5 a.m. and pray. I do the same prayer that uh, Father Elvin Rex has asked me to do and he told me nothing is impossible by Lord Jesus as long as you have faith. We did not have a child for 12 years after our marriage. We get a Mario after 12 years. Joe Amario is a miracle. Our prayer, we got it. Joe Amario, I really now always thank God, thank God, thank God. Finally, in 2020, Michelle got pregnant, and in January of 2021, Gerard was born. This is our miracle baby, Gerard. Hi, Gerard. Hi, everyone. <laughs> this is my family photo. Uh, this is Gerard, my son, now 13 years old. This is my daughter, my Shalini, now 11 years old. It was not like one of those um, social media video you see and you are like, whoa! It was like, oh, we are pregnant. So we took three pregnancy tests and then the next morning we called the doctor and the clinic nurse was like, yeah, you are pregnant if, you know, three sticks says you are pregnant. And they were like, oh, okay, then what's next? And then suddenly you hear a resounding voice, ah, okay. Our daughter is Miriam, she's two and a half this year. She's a very bubbly child who loves to pray, who loves to dance, to songs. I was so fearful when I found I was pregnant, I didn't tell anyone. But through the prayer and, you know, praying to Sandra Marjala, I actually found the strength. Don't give up, continue to pray. Uh, pray to St. Gerard to help intercede. But it might not be at the time that you, you know, you think that or you expect the gift to come, so just continue having faith. Please pray, going through St. Majala is my suggestion. <laughs> and together we will say the prayer of St. Gerard. O good St. Gerard, powerful intercessor before God and wonder worker of our day, I call upon thee and seek thy aid. 
Thou who on earth didst always fulfill God's design, help me to do the holy will of God. Beseech the Master of life, from whom all paternity proceeds, to render me fruitful in offsprings, that I may raise up children to God in this life and heirs to the kingdom of His glory in the world to come. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit.